there is something you are already good at. It might be how to make the best three-pointer, how to paint the most beautiful tree, or even how to build the most cozy doghouse. Whatever it is, you already have that knowledge. You already have that experience. All you need to do is teach it. What's up everyone? I'm Francis with your book of memories. And if you've been here with me before, you already know me, but if you're new, I'm not just any content creator. I actually teach people how to make scrapbooks through video tutorials online. I'll be sharing my journey with you on how I've turned my passion into a career. And I'll be sharing three steps just in case if you wanted to start your own journey. I went from struggling to really contribute to the family to be able to have my partner quit his job. We ended up buying our first home in 2021. We spent unbelievable quality time with our son because of our flexible work schedule. And we've even been able to balance our life while working from home. I had no idea that it could be because of the steps that I took. And uh, I just wanna thank you for being here along the journey to kind of just hear how my story unfolded and, and see maybe what skill you can show other people to try to make a living from it. I've reverse engineered what I accidentally turned into a business that has made me actually really successful. And so this, I, I was just, I'm an ordinary person just like anybody else. And I don't want this to be some mysterious thing. People may think that it isn't attainable. It is attainable. There's this misconception that you need thousands and thousands of followers to be successful. And that's just not the truth. That's not the truth. If there's anything you're going to take from this video, it's that that's not true. Remember, there's a skill you already have. There are people out there who want to learn how to do what you're doing. You just got to put yourself out there. I came from a crazy family, super dysfunctional. I've lived in the ghetto. I got pregnant really early. I never went to college. Okay. But I've always been an artist at heart. And of course, if you know me already, none of this would have been possible without you. So thank you. My journey began when I was a new mom taking care of my son and I wanted something to do. So I was browsing YouTube, trying to find something creative to get my hands on. And uh, I stumbled upon a video of my very first exposure to a mini album scrapbook. I was like, what in the world is this? I've never seen this before. I took my first tutorial and I've been hooked ever since. Then I started to kind of play around with my own designs and kind of see what I liked. And it wasn't long after that, my sister nudged me to actually post my first video on YouTube. And I was like, oh, I really don't want to do that. That's embarrassing. And she said, just do it. So that's what I did. Here's my completed mini album. So I used American Crafts Yes Please Amy Tangerine collection. Of course, I had no idea what to expect. You know, I was kind of feeling vulnerable putting my stuff out there. But uh, the comments came in and they were super positive. And then I posted another video and more positive comments came. So I got myself out there. But then someone asked me, do I have a tutorial on this design? And I was like, whoa, <laughs> no, I don't have a tutorial on this design. I just make them because I like it. Then I kind of started thinking about it. I was like, well, I got a camera. I have internet. I've got the supplies and I think I have enough knowledge. So I just said, why not? I'm just going to do it. So I posted my very first tutorial on September 4th, 2014. Bone folder, scissors, your favorite adhesive. The response was off the hook. And I was actually really excited to film and teach. So the whole process for me was uh, really exciting actually. So this could be how to throw a basketball, how to do anything that you're doing. This doesn't only apply to scrapbooking. In just six months of dedicating myself to this craft, I actually earned 1000 subscribers on YouTube. And then I was able to start earning ads from that. When I got my first Google check, I was just like, wow, this is super cool. I can't believe I'm actually working from home, working on things that I'm passionate about and earning some sort of exchange for it. Sponsorships came in. People were asking me to use their products, different things like that. And I just kept going with it year after year. So step one is actually putting yourself out there and providing value consistently. Putting myself out there was posting my first YouTube video. And the value I provided was teaching people how to make a specific design through a tutorial and teaching them how to do it. And the consistency was me showing up time and time again with new project shares for inspiration and tutorials for people to learn from. And then I kept doing it. This is how I became known. So step one, put yourself out there. Another thing I wanna mention is your first or second, fifth, 10th, or even 20th video is not gonna be perfect. Neither is mine, but I just gotta push this out there to tell you because that's why I'm including this clip. I forgot to tell you this, accept that Every video, you're just going to get better. And that's just how it works. Once you accept that process, you're absolutely unstoppable. So get out there, get yourself out there. You're awesome. And I can't wait to see everything you come up with. You rock. <laughs> it wasn't going to be perfect. I mean, listen to the way I sounded then. Here's my other completed album for Miss Taylor. 
It's a paper bag mini. It's of, uh, I think it's seven and a quarter by five. And the way I sound now. Hello, everyone. It's Francis with your book of memories. I am so unbelievably excited to share this brand new design with you. It can be extremely liberating if you just accept that even maybe your 100th video is not going to be perfect and just take it as it is. Best thing you can do is jump in. Then I got kind of curious. I was like, okay, I want to join some Facebook groups, see what other people are making. I want to be around like-minded people and be inspired and uplifted. And so I jumped into some groups and started commenting on people's stuff. And then eventually I got confident enough to put out my own. The next morning I woke up, I had like 90 reactions and 35 comments. I was like, well, I wasn't expecting anyone to find my post important or uh, meaningful in any way. And then again, these people started coming to me wondering if I had a tutorial on it. And I was like, oh, wow, sure. I'll make a tutorial on that design. That, that sounds fun. Step two, become part of communities because little did I know I did this completely on accident. I had no idea that I was actually joining groups and exposing myself more. And in no way am I saying jump in a Facebook group and start blasting your tutorial links. Come follow me. That's, that's not at all what I was doing. I went in there completely fresh, new, because I was just there to share my work and, and see other people's work. So basically the word just kept spreading that Francis Long makes tutorials on how to make mini album scrapbooks. So it kind of just was naturally unfolding on its own. Now I'm reverse engineering this process with you because this is the steps I took to get to where I am today, just by following my heart. So then I went on and on and I continued making YouTube videos free out there for people to learn how to design my books. And then I was like, wow, this ad revenue and these sponsorships are really just not enough to contribute or make an impact on supporting my family. Although it kept me motivated and inspired still, I just felt like as the years were going, I was just getting so much better at what I was doing. And I was thinking, I might need kind of a little bit of an exchange for that, you know? I felt like I deserved it. And so I went browsing around. Other people were selling their tutorials on how to make scrapbooks or, you know, this doesn't, again, it does not only need to be scrapbooks. It could be anything you can teach. So I looked around and I was like, okay, we've got Etsy. We've got some people posting how to make this particular design. Although they sold PDFs of like 200 pages, I wasn't about to sit there and make 200 pages about anything. I'd rather turn the camera on and demonstrate. Also, Etsy wasn't able to upload these really heavy video files that were HD and hours and hours long. So I did some more Google searching and that's when I landed on Uscreen. This completely transformed my life. They help creators or artists or people who make how-to videos have a place to sell access to their content. I started my free trial with them. Now I was able to customize my page. I started uploading my videos. I title them very similar to YouTube, but just it's your own brand, your own font, colors, style, vibe, everything. And I made a thousand dollars within the first two hours of launching. That blew my mind. I was like, is this actually possible? I can actually make a living by selling access to my how-to videos. So this is step three. Find a place where you can sell your content to your people that wanna learn from you. This was pivotal for me. I ended up turning my tiny little checks from YouTube into something big enough to support my family. My niche is really small. So this is proof to you that it's actually possible to not have some massive following to be able to earn an income from your passion. Whether it's teaching magic tricks, doing yoga sessions, planning how to cook a meal, whatever it is, they have all the tools you need in order for you to put your stuff in their website for people to access kind of like a Netflix styled platform. This is just, it blew my mind, everything about it. I even have my own branded app where people can actually stream, download the videos onto the app itself and watch without Wi-Fi. They have a community to share among each other, join challenges. I can contact my students directly. It's almost unbelievable how, how unreal and every mark they just checked off. I'll be leaving the link down in the description if you wanted to check out Uscreen for yourself. This is something you can do. It's 100% attainable. There's something already that you're really good at that you could teach people how to do. Let's go ahead and summarize these steps really quick. So step one, get yourself out there, provide value consistently. Step two, join communities of like-minded people and you'll naturally spread the word about yourself. And step three, find a comfortable place where you can actually put your videos behind a paywall and sell access to them. Now I wanna share with you a couple mistakes I made actually. First mistake was mentioning prices in a video that you're gonna leave up public forever. One time I mentioned a price and that price can change depending on the economy or your own personal reasons. So just stray away from any YouTube video mentioning any prices. The second mistake to avoid I would say, cause I made this one, uh, besides I was very young and I didn't really know exactly 
how to move my content over from one place to the next. So I highly encourage you to put out some free stuff and once in a while on YouTube, put out something that you say that that's behind a paywall. You do deserve an exchange for all the hard work you put into your stuff and, and what you're teaching out there. So be free and paid coming out at once, but have a lot of free stuff for people to try out so they can kind of feel your vibe. They'll be excited to give you that energy exchange to be able to access what you're what you want to teach them. So this is how it happened for me. None of this would be possible without you or not even possible without you screen because I have been with them for six years right now and it's completely transformed my entire life. If there's any more questions that you might have on this or them, I'll leave a link to their membership website down in the description. And if you wanna fuel the next episode, leave comments in the comments section. Let me know what I didn't cover today. That is something you might want me to cover in the future because I'll make another episode on that in my membership. Again, thank you everyone so much for joining me today and I'll see you next time. Bye.